As dunkers, we want to be as lean as possible. The more ripped we are, the lighter we are, the more strength we have with our muscles, and the more efficient they work, the higher we're going to fly, and that is the goal. <laughs> Yo, welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday, every freaking Tuesday. This week, we're talking about how to get shredded, how to go next level. I'm going to give you the three keys. So let's get into it. By the end of this video, you're going to have 95% of your diet covered, and I'm going to teach you how to go next level, how to get those intricate details, things that I didn't believe my body can do, and I want to share that with you. So let's go. But of course, we have the comment of the week. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Alex <laughs> Bremert. Great name. If this will be the comment of the week, we'll have to say, you are my fire, the one, desire, believe when I say, I want it that way. I know the song that you're talking about, but I can't remember, oh, my fire. We got the new red light going. We're switching up the theme. Fire is the mood. So you're right on point, Arlix. Einstein literally means one stone in German. Stay hard like a stone. Or David Goggins. What? That's a great comment by Flo. Wow. And now I'm just going to end it with Pablo's Andres Pina. Let's go. I've been waiting for this since Wednesday of last week. Dunk life, baby. I love it. Thank you for the comments. I'll yell your name if you leave a comment. So if you want to get some energy for your name fuel, let's go. Woo. All right. 95% of your diet is cutting out the bad things. And what I mean by that are these. You want to cut out the sugars. You want to cut out the processed foods. If you get a balanced meal of protein, carbs, fats and veggies that's it that's it that's all you need to do for your diet but the thing is you got to start small so we always talk about habits and building these routines you're not going to cut all those things out the sugars and the processed foods instantly it's not an easy thing to do however you've been eating is very ingrained in your routine so start super small one of the biggest keys i tell people is start with one meal a week just say okay every monday morning that's a great day because it's like so much energy so much motivation Every Monday morning, I'm going to eat healthy. So now you have one meal. And even if you could even start smaller, instead of having like a terrible breakfast, you have one item that's healthy. That's how small I want you to think about these things. But again, when it comes to the carbs, a lot of people think of carbs, they're not good. As dunkers, we need a lot of energy. That's healthy carbs, complex carbs. So things like oats, sweet potatoes, quinoa, brown rice is even good. Those things stick with that. Keep it super simple. That's what I did for a long part of my journey when I was learning about my body, learning about my energy, which I have another video on about energy. I'm really big on how to maximize your energy, and a big part of that is the nutrition. So Try to cut out the processed foods, anything that's cheap, anything that's in a bag. And if you guys think that eating healthy is expensive, I'm here to tell you that's not the case. I was eating sweet potatoes and quinoa and uh, rice and beans, and those things are very, very cheap. Vegetables are very, very cheap. So you don't want, if you want to get like healthy, healthy, crazy, healthy snacks, meaning like the really delicious things, then they might get a little pricey. But if you're just trying to go dunk life mode, uh, energy mode, straight health mode. It's pretty easy to eat healthy. Again, stick to the healthy proteins. You could have meat, chicken, fish. Stick to the, get a lot of veggies, get a lot of greens. Another tip with the diet is get all the colors. Think about greens and reds like peppers or tomatoes. And think of yellows like squash or bananas. Get all the colors, get the browns like the quinoa and the, and the rice. And then get your veggies, of course, with the greens. I think I might have said that already. But the carbs are the ones that I see the most people slip up with because the, the meats are okay. It's pretty. It's better to get the lean meats. It's better to get the ethically sourced meats. Good energy is coming from. That's a whole other topic of the energy that's coming from the animal you're actually eating. That's next level. But with the carbs, a lot of people are eating breads and pastas and they just don't sit well with your stomach. They're not well. They, all the nutrients are not there because of the way uh, people have been processing this wheat and gluten. That's why I stay away from that. It's made my inflammation go down. So there's a host of benefits that come from eating healthier sources of carbs, which again are quinoa, sweet potatoes, things like that. So just look into it, complex carbs. If you want more details, you can ask me as well. Leave a comment, whatever. All right. So the next one is hydration. Simply put, try to get a gallon a day. Now, again, with the habits, this becomes a habit that's a lot harder than you think. I like to recommend holding a gallon jug. I have a jug over there that's 64 ounces. I take it with me everywhere I go because it helps me keep drinking throughout the day. And another one is if we go back to the energy chapter, energy episode, I talk about sleep. 
And if you're drinking all the way to the night, it's going to interrupt your sleep. So you don't want to drink water up until you sleep. So you got to fill fill it in your day. You got to drink it early in the morning. You got to drink it midday and drink a lot throughout the day so you can get to that gallon. But the point is, if you try to get that gallon, you'll see how much water that is. And that doesn't necessarily mean you need a full gallon every single day. But you'll go to see if you start measuring, you'll start to see how little water you may be drinking. Water is good for everything, your cells, your brain. You need it for your body to be able to be running smoothly. So the more water you can take into your body, not the more, it's not the more, the better you can't have 10 gallons, but you get what I'm saying. The more you can put water in your diet and also cut out back to the nutrition and the diet part. If you cut that out, if you cut out the sodas, if you cut out the sugar drinks, you'll see a huge difference very fast. Even the carbonated drinks, the bloating and different things like that, which leads me into the last part, which is the next level. So we talked about the diet, we talked about the hydration, now I wanna teach you how to go next level, and a big part of it is the body awareness, understanding what you're stimulating when you're working out. As dunkers, we wanna be as lean as possible. The more ripped we are, the lighter we are, the more strength we have with our muscles, and the more efficient they work, the higher we're gonna fly, and that is the goal. So a quick tip is that you're not always gonna look crazy shredded, not like me, but the thing is, I've worked at this, so there were some days where I looked shredded, sometimes I don't, but now you keep up that level you keep upping your baseline just like jumping not every day you're gonna feel your peak but you're gonna have a lot of low days right but on those but if you keep raising your low days your low days start to look like really good high days right that's the same with getting shredded is some days you might feel crazy shredded and other days you might feel not even close to what you looked like right so keep that in your mind as the flow of your body goes and get to know it so things like salt things like the carbonated drinks they may make you hold more water which may may look like you're not as shredded just keep that in mind and then when it comes to the muscle building understanding what you're doing is really helpful so are you stimulating growth do you want to grow size or do you just want to get leaner so there's different ways to work out when it comes to that the quick thing for me is when you want to grow size you got to cause a lot of muscle breakdown, right? So when I do like my chest or something like that, I'm causing a lot of muscles to break down. I can feel it pumping up, almost like a balloon. You're constantly pumping it up, right? But recently, about two, three months ago, I started yoga and it's a lot of isometric work. And my forearms got ridiculous because I'm doing push-ups and holding myself for a long time in the class for, for the whole hour, right? I'm always on my hands and my forearms. So they got really cut up. And I also noticed my abs make a huge difference because a lot of isometric holds. And that is just kind of burning, burning, burning. That's the way I work. That's the way I've learned my, uh, to interact with my body is a very intuitive way of working out. So notice what you feel. If you're holding and you're just burning, 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 I like to think of that as conditioning the muscle. So that's going to help it get leaner and leaner and leaner. But Again, a lot of times people just need to grow size because they might be super lean, but if you get, or they might have a little bit of chub, but if you get more muscle, it's going to protrude, right? So you need the muscle to get bigger as well as get lean. So I would say a lot of times you just need to get more size for those people that have, have no experience with it as at all, because a lot of us are playing basketball or dunking and th different things like that. We're already in pretty good shape cardiovascularly, but if you get more muscle, that was a tough word. If you get more muscle, you will be able to start to see more lean. And then it's just a balance. Get more muscle, get more lean, work on the strength, work on the conditioning, work on the size. Again, it goes back to your journey, where you're at in your journey. Do you need more strength? Do you need more size? The only reason you need more size is to get more strength. So if you maxed out your strength level at your current size, you may need to get bigger to have more capacity for strength. But a lot of times we just, the leaner, the better. And that's why I wanted to hit this topic because I think it's such a huge part of athletic performance and dunking and just living life on the highest frequency you can. And that's what my videos are all about. So thank you for watching. Hope this helps you live and experience life on a higher frequency just to enjoy more and have the best life you possibly can and achieve your dreams. This is dunking is just one of them. Have a great freaking week. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next week. Let's go. Ah, let's go. The Dunk Project, baby. A live coaching community with me for any athlete that wants to get their bounce up, strength, speed, and of course technique. So I'm going to be watching your form. I'm going to be watching your workouts, making sure you do it perfect. And on top of that, we're going to be working on everything out outside of the dunk training, the mindset, the nutrition, the rehab, the prehab, the energy. Let's go. At only 5'10", I've increased my vertical over 12 inches. I want to help you do the same, and this is where it happens. Let's go. What the fuck are you waiting for? <laughs> They might help, they might make you force you, what? <laughs>